Brad and Erica, people who live around where these incidents happen say police have been knocking on their doors, looking through their ring doorbell cameras, trying to figure out if 18 year old Zion Banks is behind a possible fifth attack or maybe more. A string of sexual assaults within weeks of each other in Aurora with one common thread. And it was the assault on May 3rd that may have unraveled it all from the 500 block of 2nd Avenue. A teen called police to say a man groped her from behind while she was walking before running away. A suspect matching the description was spotted by an officer that was on patrol in the area. The suspect was taken into custody where the victim then confirmed 18 year old Zion Banks is her offender. Paris Lubell with Aurora Police says Banks has now been charged with four assaults in total, which police say all happened within a month's time. Starting with April 17th on North Titsworth Avenue, a woman says a man grabbed her buttocks and he ran away after she hit him with an umbrella. Then April 23rd, just days later on Benton Street, another woman says a man followed her into a backyard, grabbed her neck, forced her to the ground, attempting to sexually assault her before running away once she broke loose. A week after that, April 30th, Kensington Place and Elmwood Avenue, another woman Woman says a man grabs her by the waist from behind and then runs away. Now Aurora police are looking at a possible fit. Our detectives received some information uh, that leads them to believe that he may be connected some to some other attacks. They have reason to believe Banks is tied to an assault on April 28th on Garfield and Chestnut. They can't say more because that's still being looked into, but add they don't think it ends there. We believe uh, that he could be connected to some more that were never reported to police. And that's where you come in. If you know anything about one of these attacks, or maybe you know something police don't know, they want to hear from you. We have all that information on our website. Just pull up CBS Chicago on your smartphone. Live from Aurora, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.